Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today <clears throat> I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner and I found these in my Dollar Tree. Uh, they might have been called something else. I seem to remember them called butter mints or wedding mints or um, whatever whatever you want to call them they're called. <laughs> this one is going by dinner mints. They're these um, little peppermint kind of melt away mints. <laughs> kind of like chalky. <laughs> um, a lot of times, like I said, you'd get this at weddings. Um, they would be, you know, yellow or white, and then they would be um, butter mints or white for the wedding mints and um, refreshing peppermint flavor. So they're just kind of like melt away, uh, puffed kind of peppermint chalky <laughs> stuff. Reminds me of the um, candy cigarettes. The, what they made that stuff out although that was a little bit harder like you know candy br real brittle sticks and um for this one for four mints it's uh 60 calories so um you know <laughs> like 15 mints 15 calories per mint and these ones i guess are different colors but they're all going to taste like peppermint nut free and gluten free and this is by coastal bay um, there might have been other ones. I think you can get them, like, by the pound. I don't really remember. I sort of remember getting these, like, in a pound bag. I think you can get them, like, at the candy stores, um, in bulk kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these and see if I remember what it was. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we go. These are, like, the little melt away kind of mints and they were I don't know but here we go I'm gonna give this one a try and see what what, what if I remember exactly what it was yeah like a peppermint um kind of like an Altoid or a Tic Tac or Something like that. <laughs> and they're very chalky. A lot like an Altoid. Not as strong though. Reminds you of that kind of mint flavor from the Altoid. Kind of the greeniness, the chalkiness of that one. I probably had these many times. You know, birthday parties you go to. Get these at little birthday parties, weddings, like I said. Dinner mints. Sometimes you would get these after dinner at um, fancy restaurants. They bring you your check. They bring you something on the little on the little plate with the check. Little mints. Some of these were individually wrapped, and they're kind of a cleanser palate afterwards. If you didn't have a chocolate mint. <laughs> Peppermint was the next best thing. Kind of along the lines of the little starlight ones, the red and white peppermints. Um, <clears throat> but yes, this is a lot like Altoids or you know those other ones, dinners, fancy fancy affairs. Kind of the white tie when you dress up in your tuxedo and you had. And along with this would um, help clear your throat. Banaka, breath savers. Um, some of them had the little strips. And um, <clears throat> peppermint, yeah, it did uh, kind of freshen your breath. It helped uh, <clears throat> clear your palate. You know, especially if um, these would be fancy little dinner. And I think some of the ones that were for the wedding mints had like little paper or little plastic wrappers and I think they actually printed on there you know like what a, whatever the date was or whoever was getting married kind of like a over the top thing that and Jordan almonds and um some of those other things as like a wedding goodie bag but yes dinner after dinner mints wedding mints anything that was kind of upscale of occasion. Always, you know, these came around butter mints. 
they also call it, they're supposed to taste a little bit the like butter they kind of dissolve when you chew them i don't remember too many of those like that kind of melt away mints but they also had the the other ones were like um kind of like m ms they were the uh, Dutch mint meltaways, and they were like peppermint, like junior mints. A little bit like that. The mint is reminiscent of a junior mint, at least in the texture, or peppermint patty. Those were often after dinner, help you cleanse your palate, that kind of nice, clean, fresh part to it. Definitely. You know, something that you had on a special occasion. These were more special occasion. But they were classic. They've probably been around for a long time. As long as there's been parties, celebrations, dinner parties, um, weddings, anything like that. So, if you want to go back and remember the um, chalky, gritty feeling of the uh, peppermints, um, see if you could find yourself some dinner mints. Have it after dinner. Have a little bit of palate cleanser. And um, like I said, not too sweet. Just a nice little refreshing cleanse of your palate. After dinner, especially if you've had something spicy, if you had like garlic or um, anything really strong that you kind of need a little bit of a refreshment afterwards and you're out of banaca. <laughs> Or, uh, I don't know, you're out of um, Wrigley Spearmint Gum or Lifesavers. Anything like that to kind of help with the, the breath and stuff. Hal chronic halitosis. <laughs> so, yeah. That was kind of a little fun memory of that one. I thought I would just pick that up and give this one a try. So, if you wanted to go back and kind of relive some of your younger days... Pick up some dinner mints, have them after dinner, have them after breakfast, I don't know, whenever you want to have them. So anyways, there you go. That's kind of my memories of the uh, dinner mints from way back when. So anyways, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over here. That way you won't miss any future content, or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be trying something classic and minty for you, I'm going to put these aside until I, my next um, spicy dinner, and uh, maybe I'll have some afterwards. So until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.